Here's a look at what we have in store for TD9's track. We are expecting it to continue that westward trajectory throughout the day today into tomorrow. Come late weekend, we're slowly going to start to see TD9 begin to hook up to the north. That northwesterly trek as it moves towards Jamaica continues in the open, very warm waters through early next week up towards Cuba, say about Monday into Tuesday, and from there emerging into the Gulf of Mexico. So these are uh, the areas that we're going to be watching for closely, Jamaica, Cuba, and then we have within the cone, Southwest Florida. And that's what we're going to be concerned with come, say, Tuesday into Wednesday for potential impacts starting to deteriorate there. So here's a look at TD9. You just heard Stephen talking about that wind shear, that upper level wind coming in from the north, shearing away those thunderstorms, keeping the center of that circulation exposed. Well, because of that wind shear, that's what's keeping TD9 from strengthening any more over the next, say, 12 to 24 hours. However, as we see TD9 begin to move away from that area of hostile upper-level winds, the middle of the basin in the Caribbean Sea right now is very quiet. We have low wind shear and those very warm waters that are running just about a degree or two above average well into the upper 80s, and that's what's going to allow for this system to potentially undergo that rapid intensification, and that's what's going to spell big trouble even for Jamaica, where we're starting to feel those impacts potentially by Sunday into early Monday. So here's a look at the confidence of our forecast track models in good agreement that we're going to see that westward track over the next say 12 hours begin to see that shift up to the north northwest and then eventually turning up towards Cuba having its sights on the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Overall the confidence definitely very high over the next short period through Saturday but then as we get up towards say the early part of next week while we still have a medium sense of confidence that we're going to see that hook up to the north and eventually potentially to the northeast, we are going to be having to watch it closely because there's a few factors that could impact how west or east and how soon that turn will take. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.